Hey everybody, today I'm going to be opening this month's loot crate and the theme of this month is quest which includes Dungeons and Dragons, Vikings which I've heard about but never seen, I know it's a TV show, Labyrinth, and some other stuff. And let's be honest, this is I'm not opening for the first this for the first time on camera, but whatever. So this usually at the bottom of the box, but right now it's on top, and it is the little magazine that tells you what all is in it. And sometimes if you read this, you'll figure out what certain things are, because in the invasion one. It came with a little face hugger plush and a rubber band. I'm like, why the hell am I getting a rubber band in here? And it's because the rubber band is supposed to hold the face hugger to your face itself. So if you read this, you might find out something interesting. First thing is a pair of Harry Potter socks with the Horcruxes on it. So that's fun. I'm also a fan of Harry Potter. Not a huge fan, but a fan enough. Now this is the thing from Vikings and it's a horn of some sort. I'm not sure what animal it's supposed to come from. Probably a bull. And it comes with a little strap so you can wear it around your neck and use it as a cup. So you have a nice little very vintage antique pimp cup going on with its own little satch. Great for parties. And Labyrinth t shirt. RIP David Bowie. I actually did cry when I found out that David Bowie died. I was up at like 3 o'clock in the morning, bawling my eyes out listening to Heroes. <laughs> Another little item in here, and I've actually messed with this a little bit, it's really cool. Is 12 sided die ice mold. So you put the put the cap on, of course, fill it up, so you can see inside the little numbers and dimensions of the die. And somewhere through, yeah, right here I actually have somewhere I have another one of these. I don't actually play Dungeons Dragons or Pathfinder or any of those tabletop games, but I do find that when I get really anxious, if I like turn these over in my hand, if I have a bunch of them, especially that kind of helps. There is actually a method for relaxation where you move like two uneven pebbles in your hand but you use it in your non-dominant hand so it's a little bit more you have to concentrate more on it and so you take your mind off of whatever's stressing you and concentrate on your hand movements and there's a poster from Uncharted 4 A Thief's End which I know is a video game but I've never played it I have a man of fortune and musk seek my fortune. That'd be great, you know, for over the mantle. You never know. Go along with your friends, put your horn, your little poster up on the mantle. Try to get back into the tube. And the final thing is the loot crate pin, which does have a D20 on it. And I read through the little magazine a little bit, and it said that there are variants of this where they're actually gold. Interesting. It actually tells you flip the flip me inside out for the box because the box always turns into some kind of scene or adds to one of the items in the box. And it is self a maze or a labyrinth if you will. That's kinda cute when you try to get to the little loot crate emblem. And you go on a quest, because that's this month's theme. So if you have anything to say about what I got, let me know down below. And if you're interested in Loot Crate, I've been really satisfied actually with this service. I've used a couple of different subscription services and not really been that inspired by them. And I do like how you can skip a month if you like, if you don't like the theme of it. Because I've done that a couple of times where I usually wasn't into what they had to offer, so I just skipped a month. So, like I said, if you have to think about what I, if you have to say anything about what I got, let me know down below. And I'll see you next time.